enjoy it. I was. Oh, wait, what's Eagle? I like Eagle. Oh, we're just gonna go ahead and. Shaggy Black uh, Facial Detail uh, Razor Slash Ooh. Bump What's the Deep Cut? Mm -hmm. Put that there just for Eye right, Color Body details, facial paint, screaming eagles. That looks nice. Uh, sucks we can't get these ones. I'm gonna go through them and just show you what there is to offer. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and upload more content this weekend. See what I can get done. This will uh, be uploaded right after I end it, most likely. Unless I get copyrighted for it. In that case, it will not be uploaded. I'm still trying to figure out what I can do to those people that took my name. Uh, and that's... Oh, there's... <laughs> Iceland. Italy. Japan. Mexico, too. Dang, can't get it. Uh, all right, how about tattoos and each other? Dicely. Oh, I could change it. Heavy Ivy. No, you know what? I can go with none. That's one I want to get. Work to get that. So far down the pants. Tactical, tactical B, jeans, no knee pad, jeans B. Go with the. Nah, I'm taking forever on this. Sneakers. Hey guys, I'm wearing Skechers during this. For those of y'all who are didn't show up or didn't get on yesterday to the live stream, uh, basically I just played Amnesia and I played Saints Row before Amnesia. If you want to go back and check that out, the video is available on the channel. It's not even, it hasn't even been that long, honestly, so it won't be gone. Accessories I wear. Uh, well, yeah. Is that a VR headset? Scout headset. 
It looks like a VR headset. But <laughs> I don't know if I should get the eye patch or not. Well, I mean, no one's really gonna see it. Ooh, nice. Yes. Jaws. So I'm just gonna go with the uh, half face mask. So I'm saying, where is it? Assassin's mask. Yes. Headwear. Small cap backwards. The white cap. Control panel. Oh, what's going on? Booney cap. Metal ball. Just wearing an earpiece makes it easier. And we're Oakley Pilot Kevlar Nose, Fingerless Kevlar, Sniper Gloves. No, it's just Sniper Gloves because why not? It's so cool. Options. Oh. Assassin's Creed, what? Oh, wow. It looks like Ezio. Do I love the Splinter Cell games and oh. Go to Ubisoft store, man. Sorry, this is gonna kind of like cut out because it won't allow me to record the Ubisoft. <sighs> yes, yeah, get it. All right, what else? All right, we're back. Guess what? I got the Splinter Cell. I want to see if I can get the Assassin's Creed. That looks like Negan. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's gonna take me to Ubisoft. Please tell me it's for free, because this one I actually am interested in. You know, more customized characters. Okay, for free. Here we go. And we got it. Now I can. Yes. Yes, keep that. Keep the assassins equipped. So the two suits I have, a uh, Splinter Cell and Assassin's Creed. 
Now I could get the rebel leader. The Yeti hunter. The muerte. Dying earth. That's actually a nice one too. Alright. Now that we are assassins. Yes, I wish to proceed. Oh, there's four of these. There's arcade advanced. I want arcade easiest mode for a laid-back experienced enemies. Take more time to detect and shoot at ghosts. So yeah, we're gonna just jump right into it. Been having weird dreams lately. Ah, uh, gotta get some gum to keep me focused. The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Very nice helicopter. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. <laughs> How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. Hmm. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. <laughs> he's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. 
We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. The Libyans have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group. Oh, His idea. Party was private. I'll be right back. Oh, well, I guess not then. I'll switch it to private because I don't want people joining and out, joining and out, joining and out. Theories of an agrarian proletariat, there will be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sap phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaro is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. One is over. I scared the hell out of me. Day one is over. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Whoa. Hey, did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided to get rid of some of them? It's about damn time. Well, somebody with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch of the general's body. The generals could be measured any way they chose. 
An Air Force general goes first. He's a smart guy, so he says he wants to be measured from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches, so he accepts a severance of $700,000. Next up was an Army general. This guy says he wants to be measured from the tip of his right finger to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The Army general smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this Marine general's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says, if you pukes are gonna measure me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Man, Marine generals are kinky. The men doing the measuring are confused. Sir, are you sure you understand how this works? Just do it, maggot! The Marine general barks, and then he drops his trousers. Well, the two men get out the measuring hmm. tape, they steal their courage, and they get to work. So they start at the tip of his dick, but as they work their way down, they see the general's got no balls. Plot twist. One of the men says, Sir, where are your balls? Left them back in Vietnam. <laughs> in provinces where we are operating, the cartel will provide residents over 65 years of age with a Santa Blanca pension. God willing, we will all reach an advanced age. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Eyes on the target. Let's move. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got a target carrying submachine guns. And baby makes three. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. to position. Hold up, we got hostile. 
hostile activity. I got a narco over here. The watchtower, see? Got another tango. Heads up, Narco with a submachine gun. Point him out. Next to that crate of calm gear. Damn, that sure got his attention. Pinche muerto! Todo saldrá bien. Pinche cabrón. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabrón. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru's a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Christ almighty!
shit balls. Side, let's look at the character because I noticed he's got the Assassin's Creed emblem on his side. I know that's kind of cool too. Um, so like I said, uh, I think I might have read it at the beginning. Why not? Okay, she's packaged. That's a nice, that's a nice quality right there, gentlemen. Your ladies, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see, this is, uh, that's how you open up the map. So wait, have I killed anyone? Everybody hold up, we got hostiles. Drone is airborne. Got another tango. I got a third. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. That makes five. Hey, we got a narco. Next to the barn. Tango Mark. He's a little close to civilians. That's the end of the video. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will talk to you all later.